Hi guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 187 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this for yourself. Okay, assuming you're attempted, let's just dive right in. So we don't we know the Poisson distribution for x is equal to some x. This is equal to e to the negative lambda lambda to the x over x factorial. Right? And we know that modes at two modes at two and three. So at least we don't know what the mode is. It mode just means it's the the probability is the greatest there. But either way, we know that 2 and 3 has the same value. Right? Probability that x is equal to 2 is equal to the probability that x is equal to 3. So knowing that, we can just plug it into our formula here. e to the negative lambda, lambda to the 2 over 2 factorial is equal to e to the negative lambda, lambda to the 3 over 3 factorial. I can send the, the 3 factorial to this side and e, e to the negative lambda, lambda squared to this side, so you get so then you get 6 over 2 is equal to e to the negative lambda, lambda cubed over e to the negative lambda, lambda squared. So then you eventually this cancels out, two of the lambdas cancel out, so you're left with lambda is equal to 3. Okay, and this part I had to read a couple times because I also kind of got confused. There, this is saying k is the smallest number such that the probability of setting k, k policy selling more than k policies so probability that x is greater than k is less than 0.25 so let's say if k was equal to 1 let's say right then you can also rephrase this question as what is the probability that the selling more than one policy is less than 25. So selling more than one policy, if you're selling more than one policy, if this is one, more than one, that probability is just going to be one minus the probability of zero, right? So one minus the probability that is zero and probability that is one. So what is that probability? And I'm just going to pl plug it in to our formula, e to the negative lambda, lambda to k, k factor over x factorial with with it being equal to those numbers, so 1 minus e to the negative 3, 3 to the 0 over 0 factorial, minus e to the negative 3, 3 over 1. So this is equal to 0 0.800. So is that less than 25? Mm, not quite. All right, so what if k is equal to, this is k equal to 1. So what if k is equal to 2? If k is equal to 2, we can rephrase this question as what is the smallest number such that probability of setting more than 2 policy is less than that number? So probability of setting more than 2, so this one right here. Alright, so it's basically just this 1 minus probability that it's 0, minus probability that it's 1, minus probability that it's 2. So I just have to, out of this top one, I just have to add a little extra thing in there. Minus e to the negative 3, 3 second over... So this is equal to 0.5768, so that's still too big. Okay, so what would it be for k is equal to 3? So that's exactly everything else, right? <laughs> 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So I just, from the previous one, I just have to subtract e to negative 3, 3, 3 to the cubed over 3 factorial, which is 6. So then this is equal to 0.35276. So that's really close. Okay, okay, I'm feeling warm, I'm feeling warm. So what is what if it's k equal 4? Well, that's exactly just everything before it. 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4. So from the previous one, I just have to subtract e to the negative 4, 3 to the 4th over 24. So that's equal to 0.1847, which is definitely less than 0.25. So, then k is the smallest value such that the probability of selling more than 4 policy is less than 25%. So then k is equal to 4, our answer D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, if you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!